Hey what's up you guys, my name is Emily and in this video I'm going to show you how to make 3 zodiac inspired DIYs. Let's get on with the video. The first DIY I'm going to show you how to make is a clay bowl. The first thing you want to do is that you want to roll out a ball of polymer clay in between two pieces of parchment paper. And don't roll out the clay too thin because it might be easier to break. Then you can take it off of the parchment paper and place it onto a bottom of a cup of a muffin pan or on an oven safe bowl. And you want to mold the clay into a bowl shape. Once you're done putting the clay onto the pan or the bowl, you can trim off any extra clay you don't want. When you're done trimming the clay off, you can take the clay off of the pan or the bowl and you want to smooth out the edges with your finger. When you like how it looks, you want to put it back onto the pan or the bowl. Now you can bake your bowl in the oven and you want to check your clay instructions before baking your bowl. I baked my bowl at 275 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. When you're done baking your clay, you can take it out of the oven and wait for it to cool off. After the clay has cooled off, you can take it off of the pan or the bowl, and you can paint a zodiac sign or a constellation and wait for the paint to dry. I painted the constellation Leo with white paint, and I used a pencil to make the stars and a paintbrush to make the lines. If you want, you can paint the edge of the bowl any color you want, and then you want to wait for the paint to dry. I painted the edges of my bowl with gold paint. When the paint is dry, you can put a coat of Mod Podge onto the top and the bottom of the bowl. So the bowl will have a finished look when it's done and you want to wait for it to dry before using it. The next DIY I'm going to show you how to make is this watercolor painting. You want to get a piece of watercolor paper or you can use sketchbook paper and that's what I use. But you want to take the sketchbook paper down to prevent the paper from warping and you can cut the paper into any size. Then you want to take something circular and lightly trace around the circular object in the middle or slightly off center on the paper with a pencil. Now you can use watercolor paint or you can water down some acrylic paint like how I did. And you want to paint a galaxy of any color in the circle. When you're done painting, you want to wait for the paint to dry. When the paint is dry, you can draw a constellation on of a pencil, and then you can paint on your constellation with white paint or a white marker. I did the constellation Cancer for this painting. I was going to use a metallic sharpie, but then I realized it was too dark, so I had to paint it. So make sure you're using the right color for your constellation before painting the constellation. If you want, you can write the name of a constellation under the galaxy in pencil, and then you can write over it with a permanent marker, or any type of marker you have. If you need to, you can erase any pencil markings off of the paper. When the painting is dry, you can either put it into a frame, or you can put a binder clip on top of the piece of paper, and then you can hang it up on a wall. For the last DIY I'm going to show you how to make is a charm. The first thing you want to do is that you want to roll some polymer clay into a ball and then you want to flatten it with something like a bowl or a plate and then you want to shape it into a circle or another shape. Now you can either buy an eye pin or you can make one yourself. You can make one by taking a wire and pliers and bend the end of the wire into what a eye pin looks like. If the pin is uneven, you can flatten it back out with the pliers. Then you can cut off the extra wire. Before you put the wire into the clay, you want to slightly bend the end of the wire so it helps prevent the wire from coming out. And make sure you flatten the pin out if it's uneven again.
Now you can carefully put the pin into the top of the clay. Make sure you can fit a chain into the pin and make sure you take the chain off before baking it. If you don't have any eye pins or wire, you can take a toothpick and poke a hole where you want the chain to be at in the clay. Then you can put a chain through the hole to make sure it fits. And then you want to make sure you take out the chain before baking it. Now you can put your charms on a piece of parchment paper that's on a baking sheet. Then you can put your charms into the oven. Make sure you check your clay's instructions before baking your charms. I baked my charms at 275 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. When it's done baking, you can take it out of the oven and wait for the clay to cool off. Once the clay has cooled off, you can paint a zodiac sign or constellation onto one or both sides of the charm. I painted the Gemini sign onto the charm with the eye pin. In the charm with the hole, I painted the Pisces sign on one side and the Sagittarius sign on the other side with a paintbrush and a pencil. I mostly used a pencil to paint on the signs because it was easier to control to get the details of the sign than a paintbrush, but you can use a paintbrush, a pencil, or a toothpick. When the paint is dry, you can put a coat of Mod Podge onto one side of the charm and then you'll want to wait for it to dry. Then you'll want to do the same thing to the other side of the charm. When the Mod Podge is dry, you can put the charms onto anything that you want, like a keychain, a necklace, or a bracelet. And that's how you make these zodiac inspired DIYs. In the comments down below, let me know what you think about these DIYs. And if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see more DIYs. I will see you in the next video. Bye!